Hey, what's up? So, a little update, I guess, a couple updates. I haven't really had a crap ton of time to to uh, work on this. A lot of stuff going on at work this last little bit that's kept me at work late and everything else. So, anyway, I put the heads on it today. Got the heads on her today. I'm about ready to throw the intake in. Just kind of wanted to show you a little something. So this kit that came with the car came with crap. Stay there. All right. Sorry about that. It came with uh, these gaskets here and. That's a no-go for me. Cork is junk. I do not like it. So I went over, just went over to O'Reilly, picked these up. It's got the rubber on them. I also like that composite material better than this uh, paper. I don't know what, what exactly this is. It feels like paper and rubber. But I personally like these much better. They're metal reinforced. These are not. I'm a little surprised that that would come in a kit. Um, I use the, for the head gaskets, I use the 9333s, I actually think I saw one of the part number, saw the part number hanging out on one of them. Uh, let's see if I can get her to focus. You don't have to believe me, they're 9333 PT ones. But I did, like I said, get her back together. I've been working on this fan a little bit more. Uh, I got a, I don't know, I've just been playing around with the relays and stuff, trying to get my setup the way I want it. This is only a one speed, going to be a one speed fan. I'm not going to mess around with the controller, I'm just going to kick her on and, and let her rip when it needs it. Um, I went with this sensor there, I'm, I, I have it in the, in the, uh, thermostat housing in my 89 and it works wonderful right there so I got that alternator thing sitting there I got crap sitting everywhere because I don't I don't have a lot of space so the intake is sitting up here on top of the car but she's ready to go in planning on doing that here as soon as I shut this off then I'll bring you back but got all my sensors in this is an explorer intake that does not have the they call it the act the air charge temperature sensor so that is going to go in my intake elbow i don't know if i've said that yet but i am putting it in the intake or the air box i don't know which which one i'll do yet but that is a more appropriate place in my opinion so i'm going to come up with something there All right, got her on. Kind of weird how that sits. I got one for a Mustang, and this since it's an Explorer intake, I don't know if maybe I should have done different, but I mean, I think it's gonna be okay. I think it'll hold. Uh, I threw a dab of RTV in these corners. Uh, or uh, I actually use the black RTV instead of the blue. I hate that blue crap. I've had bad luck with it. Uh, I have these valve covers sitting on the wrong side. That's okay. They're just, they're just sitting there. Just, uh, I just wanted to put some tape, some valve covers on it, just so nothing falls in there. Um, I probably ought to tape up that thermostat thing, just in case I don't see something fall in there. <sighs> but she's all, she's all getting ready to be done. Case, uh, just in case you haven't caught up or been watching my other 
videos. It has an E303 in it. Uh, these are P heads, GT40 P heads. Um, I put the Trick Flow springs on it. Um, it's got new push rods in it. I went I went through the lifters that were in here, cleaned them up, and they all work and and look really good now. Um, this is this is the the special head bolt, I guess you can call it. Uh, that holds the fuel rail on these Mustangs. Uh, let's see. Did I, get, did I show you? There's GTP right there. Or GT40P. That's another sign there. Or if it has four bars right there, that also means it's a GT40P. Okay, I'm going to experiment with this. This is the Explorer pipe. I don't know if it'll work. I honestly am not sure. But I wanted to use this because. Um, I won't have to cap off that like I did on my 89. Uh, that just has a U-turn into the other one. And I, I really dislike the way I've got my 89. It still has the factory coolant pipe in it. So it just has the nipple hanging out of it. And then I had to get a piece of hose and a and a bolt. I try I was trying to do vacuum connectors. I may have mentioned that before, just in case you haven't seen it. I was I said connectors. Vacuum plugs make that. And they kept rotting out. They couldn't take the heat. So that is why I went to this. I'm hoping to go to this other design. So just for reference, I put this on, um, you got that, the one stud on the end of the, the intake bolt that, um, do you, you know, nut this down, but it was, it was making contact with the valve cover gas or valve cover, um, and it and it, you could see it kind of slope down right here, just like so. So I stuck a nut down in there, and it evened it right out. Then another nut right there. So now she slides right on there. It'll sit a little bit higher when I get the gasket in here, but plenty of clearance now. Um, the only thing I don't like is it is very close to making contact with the the fuel line the crossover line on here i did replace this while i had it apart this is an absolute pain in the butt to replace while it's in the car I'm trying to get these especially this this back nut here that is such a pain in the butt to replace while this thing is in the car so if you are doing this job, if you're following along, I strongly suggest you do that while you can have the fuel rail sitting on your lap. It's much easier, yo. Okay, also, I got, I got these on, will that work? I don't know if that works, but I got these on the Amazon but these are DNA I thought they was DNJ when I was looking at them on Amazon but they seem to be pretty well constructed uh, they're all welded up good in there um, seem to be good seem to be good overall I'm not going to use these gaskets that came with it though they, they don't uh, They don't look so hot. So I'm gonna, I'll use the bolts, but for the for these headers, I've always quite liked either the, the factory Ford ones are actually probably 
my favorite that is not like uh, Percy's or something like that. Uh, these these Felpros here are pretty good, the 1415s. They're metal reinforced. Uh, they usually, if you start leaking, you can usually tighten them up again and be good. If you have headers, they usually come come loose on you. So anyway, okay. I'm just kind of getting everything ready to go. As I mentioned before, I'm putting a 3G alternator on this thing. And if you look, this here, we're, we're hitting the bracket right there. And these holes don't quite line up. So you can see right there, I've drawn a, kind of an L shape, I suppose, would be what you'd call it. That needs to get ground out. So I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna take this back off and get my grinder and get that out of there. And she'll slide right in. So I went and ground out that little area right there. There we go, it's a little better focus. But I uh, went and ground this, you can kind of see where my my marker marked up those spots but yeah you'll you'll hit with this little edge here on the on the housing of the 3G if you don't do that but uh, anyway I got that got that going found out that where'd it go I went to tighten tighten this up right here and it just spun and spun and spun. Well, the the, uh, the little nub or I don't know what you want to call it, right there, busted clear out of that housing. So I had to go order one last night. And also, if you look inside of there, the focus, it's all stripped out too. There are like two threads on the very end. I'm not about to even try to make any work out of that um, then on that hose right there I just went over to AutoZone and said let me go back in the back and look at your hoses and I found one that will work it's uh, it's not an exact fit I also had to kind of tighten this up a little bit get this aimed in a better spot but this this will this will get us down the road till I get a heater core in it, and then we'll get all the right stuff. I just, I just right now the goal is to make her run.